Hey guys, welcome to the very first Humble Mechanic video. I'm Charles, and what I wanted to do today for you guys is put together a video on how to build a reasonably inexpensive toolkit for your car. Now, before I get started, you're not going to be rebuilding engines with this toolkit. This is roadside repairs, easy breakdown type stuff, and some stuff that'll help you guys through maybe a, a little bit of a jam. Um, I went to Walmart, I bought what you guys might be able to see right here. I spent under a hundred bucks. Uh, I think you could do it cheaper if you shopped around or went to like the dollar store and bought some of this stuff. But I, I wanted to really get a feel of being able to go to one store, buy it all, knock it out all at one time. Um, there's also a few things you'll be able to scavenge from around your house and that should probably not cost you anything because you should already have it. Um, let's get rolling. First thing, I bought a toolbox. Um, it's a Stanley toolbox. It was about eight bucks. This is going in my wife's truck, so I kind of got something that I knew would fit where it's going. If you have a car, you can buy like a five dollar milk crate or something like that and put everything in it, and it'll actually work a lot better than this. But since it's going in the back of her truck, I needed something on the small side. Uh, flashlight. I bought this flashlight, four bucks. I'm kind of a flashlight snob, but I went real cheap on this just because it's flat, so it won't roll away from you while you're working. Funnel, if you run out of gas, uh, especially Volkswagens have a flap, you can't just pour gas into it, so you'll need something to depress the flap. Buy a funnel, it was like a buck. Zip ties, I kind of cheated and didn't buy zip ties because I have so many of them around the house. They're about two bucks. Uh, I would get bigger ones than these. These are kind of small, but this is just the first thing that I found. Uh, screwdriver. Now, I actually got this screwdriver, this multi-tool, and this razor blade for 20 bucks. It was on clearance. Kind of cheating, I guess, but either way, it gets the job done. This screwdriver has Phillips and flathead, two different sizes of each. The multi-tool, uh, it's a pretty standard multi-tool. I actually just opened it, so I hadn't gotten a chance to, to mess around with it, really. But it has a knife, it has pliers, it has cutters on the bottom of the pliers. Uh, really important, it probably folds up cool. Folds up cool, nice and small. Uh, tire pressure gauge, super important. Electrical tape, I'm not a huge fan of duct tape when I'm working on cars. I like electrical tape a lot better. This was less than a dollar. Uh, magnetic pickup tool, I will open this before I put it in the kit. But the worst thing is dropping something. Let's say you're changing a spare tire and one of the lug bolts or lug nuts rolls away underneath the car. You use something like this to snatch it instead of climbing underneath your dirty car. Uh, bungee cords. Volkswagens are notorious for belly pans falling off. Um, something like this will help you zip tie it or bungee cord it back up. Uh, also, the zip ties work really well. Uh, I'm also going to zip uh, bungee cord my flashlight to this toolbox. That way it's easily accessible. I don't have to dig through the toolbox to find the flashlight. A can of Fix-A-Flat. Now I kind of doubled up on the, the flat tire stuff because it's something that happens more than just about anything else. This is a tire plug kit and this is a can of Fix-A-Flat. Uh, this you're not going to be able to do a whole lot with if you don't have an air compressor in your car. This is probably a much better way to go. I got both. Uh, this one will probably go in my Passat, and I'll give this one to my wife for her truck. The one thing about this, though, if you guys use this and repair a flat tire, when you get it fixed, please tell the people that are working on your car. This stuff is a huge pain in the butt to deal with, and nothing worse than breaking a tire loose and getting hit in the face with a bunch of green slime or... Uh, I don't even know what color, whatever color this is. The green stuff is the worst, though. That, that makes for a bad day for a, a mechanic. But this one, kind of the same deal. It's just pl a plug a hole, but you'll have no way to put air in the tire if you only buy this. Set of cheap gloves. Pretty self-explanatory. Keep your hands clean. Rain poncho. If you have never changed a tire in the rain, it sucks. Buy one of these. They're less than a dollar. Or you can get the good ones. They're like ten bucks. Um, I bought a little test light. This was about four bucks. I actually had to go to AutoZone, I think, to buy this. Um, it's pretty crappy, but if you have to check fuses real quick on the side of the road, it'll do the trick. 
if I had more money, I'd probably upgrade this to something a little bit better in maybe the $20 range from Sears. A lighter. Never know when you need some fire. A bit of rope. Um, I'm not really 100% sure what you would do with this, but I got a real good feeling that I would need this at some point. It was two bucks. Throw it in there if you never use it, even better. And vice grips. Now, this is the very first pair of vice grips I've ever owned. Uh, I don't use them at work at all. I don't use them around the house at all. They're super handy, um, but when you're on the side of the road, you're not super worried about maybe tearing up the head of a bolt or something. You need to get back on your way. So I'm okay with this for this type of idea. The last couple things, I scavenged this stuff from around the house. Ziploc bags or zip top bags. Uh, when you're doing something on the side of the road especially, put your parts in here. If you are changing a tire and take the lug bolts off, put them in here so you don't lose them. And some trash bags. Lay them down on the side of the road while you're changing a tire. Lay them over the hood, uh, the fender while you're working under the hood. It'll it'll save you some some dirt on your clothes. Also, they're really good to put the tire in, and then put back in your car so you don't pile a dirty tire on top of all of your stuff in your trunk. Um, if I had another twenty dollars, say, I probably would have bought some socket sets. Uh, if I were building this kit for my car. I would have added some Torx bits. They're super common on Volkswagens. Thankfully her Nissan, it's not an issue. So I can just go with a standard screwdriver, flathead, Phillips head, no problem there. The other thing, and I've been burned on this, so don't forget jumper cables. Um, I think these were like 16 bucks at Walmart. I may actually have another set at the house. So if I do, I'll return these, but um, it's probably a guy thing, but I have never carried jumper cables in my car until I went out to the last truck that I had and it wouldn't start. And Talk about being embarrassed by wearing your mechanic shirt standing outside of your car and needing someone from the restaurant to come help you jump start it. Um, not really a great impression, really. Uh, that's where I spent my hundred bucks. Uh, again, you guys can kind of save some money on stuff. The toolbox isn't something you need. It just fit where, where I'm putting it. Um, the screwdrivers, I would probably recommend buying one flathead screwdriver that's a little bigger. They work really well as kind of a pry tool if you were to need to pry something up with it. Um, make sure you open your stuff. Don't leave it in the package and throw it in the toolbox, which will, is what I'll do with all this stuff here in a minute. I'll post some pictures of what it all looks like put together in the kit. Um, let's see, if I had less money, um, I would get rid of a, a few things. I would probably get rid of the bungee cords. I would probably scavenge around my house a lot more to find some of this stuff. You guys probably all have an extra screwdriver or two laying around the house. Throw it in a box. Even if you have an old duffel bag or something, throw it in the duffel bag. Throw it in your car. And forget about it. I think that pretty much wraps it up. This is the kit that I bought with the with the multi-tool and the, the razor blade. It was on clearance for 20 bucks. I don't know if it was a great investment, but a multi-tool is, is super useful. That's why it's called a multi-tool. Um, if I forgot anything, let me know. Post it up in the show notes, and you know I'll take a look and see if maybe we can fine-tune this kit. This is the first kit like this I've ever done, so I'm sure I forgot something, or maybe we can get together and fine-tune things and uh, see if we can do it better next time and cheaper.